right guys so I'm gonna be reacting to y'all know dude. Yeah. remember remember I made a Willy's Wonder remember Willy's Wonderland yeah apparently the reason why I know about Willy's Wonderland Willy's Wonderland was because of this guy and now I'm gonna react to the movie that Willy's Wonderland is trying to rip, rip off. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which is still, which still needs to come. So guys, without further, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Nobody cares. You see? Already. I know I already know where they're coming from. They said they were gonna start filming last year. Guess what? It's this year. Guess what? It's literally it's literally 2022. They said they were gonna start filming in spring 2021. Guess what? Look where we are now. And we haven't got no news. No news. <clears throat> On lockdown. On that side. <laughs> Hello, Five Nights at Freddy's fans. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Chris. It is now 2022, so that means we have to add another tally mark for a year that goes by, and we still don't get the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Originally exactly. back in 2015, when it was with Warner Brothers, it has now been a whole seven years, and this movie has just been in developmental hell, and today, we have a minor update. Clearly. You know, I'm just going to be straight up with you. It's not really anything huge or mind-blowing or really getting us into the next level. Of hey, course. We've had mind-blowing big news before, this time last year, exactly. when Scott the and guess what? This was this was before Scott retired. We could have passed this movie to to like congratulations to congratulate him before he retired. We could have had that, but no. We need to have a good script. You already had a great script, which is why you should have started filming in spring 2021. Spring of 2021. We're like months away from spring of 2022, and cameras have not started rolling. So again, when the movie goes in the dark, you have that large majority of FNAF fans who are coming out and saying, "Oh, movie's canceled. It's never happening. It's a made-up thing. It'll never see the light of day." Exactly. Like pe there are some people out here that are saying that it's actually canceled. It it's not canceled, guys. The problem is they're not saying anything. They're not coming out to film us. They're not coming out to come out to film it. We are assured it is for sure still gonna be happening, at least that's what we're told right now. I'll be going into these details and breaking them all down for you, but I'm gonna need your guys' opinion down below. As a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, are you still excited for this movie? I was saying about a year or two ago how it's like too late for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But then with the game security breach having come out, it's kind of reinvigorated the franchise where a lot more people are starting to get back into the Oh yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. Can't hold it much longer.
Alright guys, I just got done using the restroom and I washed my hands. <clears throat> Back to it. The old fans coming in. If everything went according to plan and they actually filmed the movie last year, that means it would have been coming out this year where the five night fight is kind of big right now. Okay, so yes, the last big update we had on this movie because there has been small little updates that happen every other month and sometimes every other year was back in September of 2021. I made a whole video about it. So if you want super in detail breakdown of what happened then, you can go ahead and watch that video. But just to summarize it, it's when we found out that the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was not pushing along the way we thought. We assumed the movie was going to start filming in spring of that year. But then when we never heard anything about it, we were like, what the hell? And now we know it was because the director of the film, Chris Columbus, who was attached for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, went ahead and left the project, leaving them Why? with no director. But we're like, okay, that's fine. They still got a script, right? No. Jason Blum, the head of Blumhouse Studios, came out and showed a little bit of his frustration with the project, saying, we've written multiple scripts, and we've got where we're threading a needle, which is doing justice to Five Nights at Freddy's and making Scott happy. The only way that we would go about it is giving Scott, I don't want to do something that Scott doesn't like. Let me say that a different way. I don't have the right to do anything Scott doesn't like. Basically, Scott has kind of like this equivalent of Final Cut, and it's taken longer than I hope to get the right story. So that was them letting us know that even though in the beginning of 2020, 21, they told us they finally found a script that Scott was happy with. They threw that script out along with the director. But fans were still hopeful that everything was going fine with the movie because when they asked him, who's the new director? And I'm over here looking at this at this footage of... I'm over here looking at this footage of Security Breach. Guys, that other video where I said I was going to get Security Breach, I'm still going to get the game. I don't know why I haven't got it right now. But I, was, I, I said I was... I, I, I said I was gonna get it. I'm still gonna get it because I'm not really because I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not, I wasn't really hyped for it. And I, I, I did not like the look of it. And um, <clears throat> I was one of those people who was worried because of how it looked. It didn't really look that scary, to be honest. But uh, but some people and plus some people were saying it, were saying it's bad. And um. Yeah, there are people out there that they were saying it's not scary, it's bad, it's cringy. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna get the game and see for myself because I'm not gonna rely on on other people's opinions that much. So, yeah. <clears throat> Jason Blum replied with, "That's classified," making it seem like, "Oh, so they already have another director. Everything's running smoothly." Uh, not exactly. Bringing us to the update today, Jason Blum took to his Twitter to have a little Ask Me Anything where he was just like, go ahead, ask me something. Of course, you know the FNAF fans were just gonna flood his comment section, and thank goodness the man didn't ignore it where he was up front and did give us a couple of updates. The one that's the most reassuring and that should make you happy, because it's the current update we have right now to let us know oh, this Five Nights of Friends movie is not canceled. We have here a... A freaking ass. A freaking ass. And then quickly realize and drop the ball. Oh, they're stupid commercials. I want to get this news. Here, a user with a Sonic profile picture. Good on you, man. Asking him, how is the FNAF movie coming along? Where Jason Blum then replies, it really is still coming. I promise, guys. That should actually be really reassuring because whenever things go dark with the Five Nights of Freddy's movie, of course he says, I'm not being rude, really but of course he says it's coming. Like it's coming. Meant, it really does seem like this movie's canceled and it's never going to happen. But Jason Blum is very determined to still have this movie <coughs> made, and he's saying here he promises it's still going to happen. <coughs> so that should let you know Blumhouse is still keeping this movie in the back of their minds. They're doing everything they can to push forward, but I guess it's taking longer to come up with a new story and script that's going to be attached with this new director and speaking of this new director everyone who thought they already had one in mind doesn't seem to be the case because then we got a question from don't. another fan who went ahead and asked jason <coughs> blum who's directing five nights of freddy's to then where jason blum replied unclear right now that can mean a couple of different things <coughs> one they don't have a director yet and that should be really scary <coughs> if you're actually reading some of the replies that jason blum is talking about in these movies like someone asked him what are the things you look for in a script before signing on to produce? And he says, who is directing? Sorry. 
letting you know that Jason Blum is very much about the director's vision and whoever he <coughs> hires is going to determine Sorry, how guys. it will be I'm along. <clears throat> so they might not even be working on a script right now. They need to figure out who's directing this movie, and once they have that director, they need to sit down with him and be like, this is our idea. How do you see the movie play out? But on the other side of that, it could actually mean they have multiple options on the table. Maybe they're taking pitches from different directors who are coming in and saying, this is what I want to do with the movie. And now Jason Blum is caught between, I like this idea. I like this director. Mm, who should we give it to? And then that's where Scott can come in, give his opinion. Or whoever this new head of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise is. Because unless I missed it, I don't think Scott has announced who the new head of FNAF is right now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, FNAF fans. So look, I know it's just breadcrumbs and it's a very minor update, but it's an update nonetheless. I get tons of comments from you guys every day going, Chris. I swear to God, this, this movie should have been released by now. Like, I, I literally think this movie should have released. I'm not going to lie to you. Scott, I'm not gonna lie to you. Scott should have stayed here until the. If you want to retire, at least do it after the Fun Nights of Freddy's movie comes out. Because at least we finally get a movie before you retire. <clears throat> like, we could have had this movie pay tribute to you. We could have had this movie pay tribute to Scott. Like, we, we, if you want to retire, then fine, do it. It's your choice. But, but at least give us the FNAF movie. You knew, you knew we've been wanted, you knew we wanted this movie for so long. Why would you retire before the project that we've been waiting for comes out? Like, <clears throat> this movie should have released before Scott retired. Or Scott should have stayed here until the movie released. We, we actually, we were actually going to get this movie. I was actually hyped. We were actually going to get this movie. <clears throat> we were going to get this movie filming in spring 2021. We actually could have had it by now. Hey, imagine if this movie was actually... Imagine if this movie was actually filming in spring 2021. We could have actually had a trailer by now. I'm not even going to lie. We actually, could have, we actually could have had a trailer. Or a little teaser saying that, ooh, the trailer's coming. We, we could have had something by now. Heck, probably not even, even a trailer. We could have actually, I mean, if they were going to Willy's Wonderland treatment, we could have had the trailer or even a movie by now. If they did it like Willy's Wonderland. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> Where's the FNAF news? When are you talking about FNAF? What's going on? And I'm like, I can't talk about something that has no updates. And now when we got this small little breadcrumb update, we just got to be happy that as of right now, in the month of January in 2022, Jason Blum is saying, the movie's still happening. It's not canceled. We're going to see it eventually. They might finally film the movie this year with a director in mind, or this will just go another year by, and then we'll be talking about this exact oh, no. same situation oh, no, 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 in 2023 no, 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 when the no. movie has been announced at eight years old now. So this definitely does no, mean no, 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 no. They need to start filming this year ASAP, because especially, if they don't especially have after movie, Scott retired, we need this movie to pay tribute to him. And we need this movie right now. Same year. I'll always get comments of people saying, Chris, you don't know. They probably filmed it in secrecy already. They've done that with other movies. Now with FNAF. We would kind of know by now, so there's no way they filmed it in secrecy, even without a director. Heck, this is even why I want to throw in a little tip. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. That's kind of what I thought they did, too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I thought they were, like, like filming it without, like, without posting anything or, like, or, like trying to surprise us. Yeah, I thought they did that too, but when I found out that the director left, that's when I knew that they were not doing that. I'm not, that's, that's, I honestly thought they did that as well. Last year, I thought they did that. <clears throat> A lot of you guys have been sending me that is not real. There's an Instagram account out there, actually multiple Instagram accounts out there that are pretending to be Scott and giving you updates on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that is coming along, that there's a release date soon, that there's casting, a trailer. None of that is true. As far as I'm concerned, Scott actually doesn't really have an official one, and if he does, he's not active on it. So these accounts that are saying they're Scott and giving you news on the FNAF movie, it's all fake. You can ignore those. We'll know when Scott gives us a real update, because it'll be everywhere. But 
But this is where I throw it off to you, FNAF fans. You always want an update on the movie. What do you think of the current situation? You gotta give some props to Jason Blum for still being willing to answer our questions and let us know the movie is happening. I think there just is a limit where Jason Blum can't constantly answer questions because I don't think it's good press to always show your movie's delayed, your movie's script is getting scrapped, your director's being fired. It's like, that's not a good look for the movie that fans are hyped for. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, though, for other great yeah. movie news. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Good night, Gregory. I need. I still need to get security breach. Gregory, Gregory. Like, <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, security breach aside, about this movie, all I'm gonna say is <clears throat> they need to get it out soon. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I can't keep waiting for so long. Cause then, if they keep doing this, I will lose hype to the point where I just completely, completely give up on this movie and move on. <laughs> To the point where I'm gonna, gonna be like, yeah, they're never gonna release this movie. So why, why, why should I even like still care at this point? Like, I've waited years for this. I've waited years, and the fact that it was supposed to be a trilogy based off the first three games. In fact, are they still even playing a trilogy after all this BS we went through with this movie? I, I'm surprised if they flat out just say that. After all the drama and stuff we went through with this movie, yeah, this is our only one, and we're done. <clears throat> so, we, like, imagine if they, at the last minute, they just decided to cram, to, like, cram some, anim like, put the animatronics from the second game in the, and spring trap in, the, in this movie, just to kind of get this over it, since we literally went through all the BS from this, from this movie. Imagine if they imagine if they decided to do that, just cram in animatronics from the from the second and third game to kind of tell them, hey, this, you know what? We've been working on this movie for years. We can't do this no more. We can't keep going through this. We're not gonna go through this with the second and third movie. So we're just gonna do get this over right now. So now you guys have your friend out movie and we move on. Imagine if they decide to do that, which is why I said they need to get this out. Soon before everyone lose their anticipation and the studio decides just, just like cram some stuff, cram the best stuff from the franchise in this movie just to get people hyped again, only for them to say we're not making a sequel based off all this bullshit BS we went through. <clears throat> anyway, that's all I gotta say right now. So, like and subscribe, hit that bell, hit those notifications. That's all I gotta say right now. So, Peace. I'm gonna be back when something. I'm gonna post another FNAF movie when something comes out. And I'm still gonna get security breach. I'm out.